Hey folks, how you doing? Got a short little simple knife making tip for you and it's scribing, you know, scribing your lines. For a long time, very long time, I was doing it by eye and uh, recently on the Blade Show I got a gift from my friend Tim Troyer, Sugar Creek Forge, who got this really cool little jig at the Blade Show and uh, it's pretty neat and once I saw it he, he, I think he got one for himself and he showed it to me and I said that's really nice and it's actually so simple that you can do it yourself. And I was gonna do it but the next day he surprised me, he bought one for me and it is really super cool. Now as you can see, it's just a piece of aluminum block that has a center hole that holds the strong, I guess this in this case it's some kind of carbide or something or it can be even just nicely good hardened steel. You can take a drill, drill bit and just round the tip off to make it nice and pointy and you see how just tiny bit it's sticking out now you can do this or you can also just not drill it all the way and epoxy it in whichever will work and the two pins two stainless steel pins are drilled and placed exactly the same distance from the center pin and what this does is I've been working on this blade today shaped it that's that uh, kind of like a big Spartan this is a 5 16 I already have it here on the bottom, I'll show you how it looks. I already scribed where I'm gonna do the steel. You see that gives it that main idea of the line, what's the center of it. And the way this nice and simple works is for anything that you can fit between these two pins, you can you can scribe. So you know this is about half an inch apart. Yeah, this is about half inch apart, so you can scribe half an inch steel with this. And what it is, because these both pins are the same exact distance from the center pin when you put it on the steel and you twist it you know as much as you can that means that that center pin is in the center because you know as far as this one goes from the uh, from the center the same, same distance goes this one just on the opposite direction so you always have that center pin the scribe in the center so what you just do you put it on twist it and just run it back and forth It's not the easiest thing, it's kind of annoying, but it's not anything hard. And you can see, I have nice center lines scribed. Super easy. And like I said, this is actually... The jig itself is so simple that it's very easy, easily doable by you. You know, you grab a piece of aluminum, piece of annealed steel, you drill three holes. You, you don't have to do this fancy nut in here. You can just drill it all the way, just not through yet, and epoxy the pins in or just set them in really well you can you can do the you know if you have the the topping topping kit you can top it but you don't have to and that's all it takes three little p pins you can actually just cut you know your one of the older drill bits you can just cut that in three pieces and use that you know three of the of the beginning of the bit where it's smooth and then the center one it doesn't matter it can have the grooves in it and you just sharpen it to the tip nice and center and that's it simple as that so <laughs> I recommend doing this I don't know who, who made it what who staple it was who was selling this there was a you know a lot of people selling all different knife making supplies and uh, jigs and stuff and uh, it was it's pretty cool so I highly recommend it if you guys wanna do the scribing you know think it's nice and simple and uh, I think it's actually easier than the other types when you have, you know, like your drill bit on the angle and you have to kind of twist it to get by eye, do the center line. It is nice and I think they were selling this for, I think, 15 or 20 dollars. So not that bad, but you can really do this in a couple of minutes yourself, like I said. And I would have if I didn't get it as a gift. So hope you find it helpful, guys. Uh, I want to show you. I finished this one yesterday. Uh, this one is kind of interesting. It's that purplish. Actually, now it has like a bluish on the camera. It has like a bluish uh, color. That's kind of like that micarta. But this is actually uh, nylon. Nylon, uh, kind of like a canvas, but made out of nylon. The mesh. And uh, did the high polish blade. Not perfect, but it is high polish. And the top I left from the horizontal lines that I ground when I cleaned the steel. It has a really nice and deep, I think it's nice, I think it's nice touch, something different for, from what I did before. You see kind of like a deep grind lines. And I kind of like it, kind of like the, the rough, 
rough with the with the high polish combination. I think it's pretty sweet. Very comfortable in the hand. Interesting material. And uh, and that's it. I think. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed, it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you found the subscribe tip helpful. Take care. Stay safe and remember, don't cut yourself.